And we are back. Final segment here on Home Track Heroes. You can see our top two cars as they work down the back stretch here on lap 16. They'll be halfway through this 30 lap main event for our NASCAR Street Stock Division here on a rainy, kind of cold uh, Saturday night. And look at Mark Hubbard making that inside move. Dave Lund up on the outside. Let's see if Lund gets a good rotation. He does come work in the high side, but man, a great battle heading into three. Like you can see Hubbard driving it in deep, kind of trying to slide up in dirt racing. They would call that a slide job, but he took over the lead. But right now as they cross the line, so it's Hubbard first, and now Lund in that 28 car dives back down. Going to repay the favor if he can. Unfortunately, did not clear the nose of that 41 car. Had to back out of it. We should see Hubbard get a little bit of a run as they head off into turn three. And there they are right in the middle between turns three and four. Mark Hubbard with a, about a two-car length lead over Dave Lund in that number 28 Camaro. Ted Lindbergh now put him back into third spot. And he's a feature back into the fourth, followed by the four car of Jeff Hubbard. So there's your top five. Mike Marthal is still in it. Uh, Colin Hubbard in it as well. And uh, several others as uh, we're just past the halfway point. There's a good shot of the 44 of Marthal and the 19 of Jake Grant, 43 of Sheridan Vincent, and uh, the other Hubbard machine that. 14 of Cullen Hubbard. That's my favorite Hubbard car right there. That thing just is really sharp. <laughs> I love that body style. It's so classic. You know, off the early season runs, I think it's safe to say that this street stock division may be the most competitive class here at the Speedway. I agree. You've got Lindgren, who won the championship last year. Darn tough. Davey Lund. Jeff Hubbard's going to catch it, you know, a little bit, get that rust knocked off. You got both the Hubbards, Mark and, and his son Cullen. Uh, you know, Nick Beecher showing <laughs> his best run maybe of his career so far. And, and then, of course, we got Martha Oller. So you've got some cars right there. Jake Grant in that 19 car, he gets that thing figured out. He should be tough as the year goes along. So there's maybe 10, 12 drivers in this class that could win on any given night. And I always like to point out the 43 of Sheridan Vincent. And I'm going to throw that in that same category that you did about Nick Beecher having the best run of his career I think in you know, a sloppy track and, and all this is going to do is just help him out and, and get that thing established and get him going forward as we take it out of turn number four single digit laps to go that's going to have eight to go when they can nine now uh, to go across the line and we're starting to wind down on this rainy night and good action all over the track I think Grant and Vincent, Grant in the 1943 car, they were putting on a great battle there. Side by side, a little rub, a little touch, but nothing out of the ordinary. Um, and right there you see Lindgren working all over that four car of Jeff Hubbard. Hubbard drives it in kind of a little goofy, washed up there at the uh, apex of one and two. And we're showing Nick Feature back up in, in the 45 car, back up into the third position. Mark Hubbard now really going away. And I'm starting to wonder if there might not be something up with Dave Lund in that 28. Uh, maybe he has a tire going down, but there, he's definitely uh, not giving Hubbard any kind of trouble whatsoever. And that if they, I, my thinking is that if there's something up with that car, that's why he's so far back. He's still in second place as the laps are winding down, so it's well, still looking good. The rain has picked up too, so it may be possible that he Oh, off camera missed a corner or something you know got it in there a little hot got it crossed up but we'll just have to wait and see still have six laps to go so hopefully he can move it back up and take one last run at that 41 car recovery. there's one other car i kind of want to point out here we haven't seen it all that much on the, on the screen during this main event but that's the 16 of scott perkins who is in one of those learning curves as well uh, you know, he just goes out there and again, he's one of those who just does the best he can with what he's got to do. And, and the same goes for Austin Camp. You see him there you know, going up into the high side out of turn number one. So we'll make sure and show these guys that we appreciate them being out there on this nasty night as we're <laughs> getting this baby wound down. It's still Mark Hubbard in the 41, Dave Lund in the 28, and Nick Beecher so far with his uh, best run of his career. The Perkins, just 24 years old, day job, the U.S. Navy. So we need to congratulate him and thank yeah, him for his service. Very much. And uh, you're, you're right. There's just we're seeing a lot of good people out there doing really, really well. Uh, Matty Mokov in that 17 car, just 17 years old, a high school student, learning the ropes of driving a race car. 
They've just got three laps to go right now. Oh, and Mr. Jeff Ooh, Hubbard. Come on, Jeff. Oh, oh, just got her looped around. So we're going to get that, uh, get him cleared back out. And uh, we'll bring it back up above and uh, let them get that. want to remind you. Our final segment tonight is brought to you by Coastal Community Bank, where at Coastal Community Bank, community is their middle name. Their small business champions take time to understand your business and help move it forward. Visit CoastalCommunityBank.com to find a banker near you. They're an equal housing lender and a member of the FDIC. So thanks a lot to Coastal Community Bank. Check them out. Main office in downtown Everett and all over the Snohomish and and, uh, South or North King County area, so good to have them with us. You bet. July third, Granite Sprint Cars here. Yes. July fourth, Birthday Bash, one of the biggest events of the year here at Evergreen Speedway. All kinds of stuff. They're going to wreck it, blow it up. I think Mike Buse, Mr. Dizzy's going to be here, <laughs> and of course the best fireworks in the county. See right you, here. You guys see what we're doing for you here? We're planning out your activities, roster for the summer. That's what we're here to do. So get on to Evergreen Speedway. You don't Speedway. want to have to mow that lawn, no. wash those windows, polish that car, no. come out here to Evergreen Speedway. You know, they've got some great food, a little bit of some mm-hmm. beverages, some, you know, what is it? De- Deep fried Oreos. Uh, you knew where I was going. Yep, okay. yep, got to love them. Okay, let's rack them back up as we've got three laps to go. Mark Hubbard, Dave Lund on the front row, Nick Beecher in that third position, and we're going to be back underway as uh, Mark Hubbard having, obviously, the run of the season in that number 41 car, but looking so good in this track. Well, and look at the Beecher. Beecher's on that outside, working that deal right there behind Davey Lund. There was three good cars, and I got to tell you, we've talked about people smiling. Nick Beecher's got to be grinning from ear to ear, and dear old daddy's probably just as happy. Yeah, no kidding. And, and once this race gets, there's so much I want to do. Oh, look at this as Grant gets into Marthaler. And kind of spits him off at the uh, uh, end of turn number one. He's up on the, on the just the entry to turn number one on the five eight. So we'll get him racked back up. Let's see what this looks like again as uh, Mike Marthaler just. I think Marthaler and Grant were just racing for the same. I think estate. they were. Yeah. They had. Yeah. I think Marthaler pushed up a little bit. Grant was up against the fence, and Grant couldn't get out of it quick enough. Got into the quarter panel and turned Marthaler. Man, not a better look at it right there. Yep, I think you called it. I think Jake, you know, tried to do everything he could to avoid having that happen because that's not the way that Jake Grant races. It's certainly not the way. Let's see what it looks like from the inside as best we can. I just can't imagine having to race through a windshield like contact. He's right up against the fence right there, and around goes Marthaler. Grant with just minimal damage. See, I think what Mike was doing was showing off his Greyer insurance sponsorship right there. That was pretty (laughs) impressive. All right, let's take one more look at it here. As uh, Jake Grant just, I think it's just one of them deals, you know, and we'll bring it back up, but one of them deals. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, it's no secret we record this. At this point in the race with two laps to go, I'm going down. I left Greg. I said, look, I'm going to take this. I'll take this one because it, if I had the opportunity and didn't care where Nick finished because I've known that young man since he was like that high, and uh, to see the effort that he puts into it, I wanted to make sure I was down there. Uh, you guys are in for a show, and that's all I'm going to say until it's done. But here we go. We're going to get it racked back up. The Speedway Chevrolet pace car uh, out, hopefully, for the final time tonight. And Mark Hubbard and Dave Lund on the front row. Nick Beecher down on the uh, inside with uh, the number four car of Jeff Hubbard up on the outside. So here we go. Hubbard, Pace. your leader, taking the high groove, sticking Lund down on the wetter part of the racetrack. He has that option, and he's taking advantage of it right there. As they come off turn four, we should see the green flag with just three laps to go. Here they come now, and look at Beecher down on the inside. Holy smokes, is he going to be able to? He does. Look at that. He just takes Dave Lund. Side by side down the back stretch. Meanwhile, that's all Lund Mark Hubbard wants to see. They're yep. bouncing along. Hubbard Dig. get or uh, Lund got a little bit wide, and look at Nick Beecher down into that second spot. And you can kind of uh, there's a madman with a microphone in his hand down there rooting him on. We're not supposed to do that, but I just couldn't help myself. Look at this battle with Dave Lund and Nick Beecher. This is so cool. Side by side as they head down the back stretch. Beecher just a little bit better run as they go down in the corner, Lund oh. up on the high, high side. <laughs> he, 
he was going to try and do the wash up on the back end of Beecher, but just couldn't quite get it. Look at how close they are. This is phenomenal. Final lap. Mark Hubbard's see. walking away with it. How but the, the battle see. between Nick Beecher and Dave Lund is a classic. Dave, a little bit out of shape halfway down the back stretch. And let's, uh, let's bring him home. I saw Vincent as he washed up down there, gave up a few spots. They come off the corner. Mark Hubbard picking up the win. It's Beecher in second spot. That was amazing. What a great finish. And uh, I, I'm just, at this point, I was just jumping up and down, rooting them on. And it was probably, I felt like he's, you know, a proud parent. And, <laughs> and speaking of, you know, his dad was there and the whole crew. And uh, I want to say that Mackenzie Deeds sponsor or spots for Nick. And we know who sponsors Nick. We do know who sponsors Nick. Berg's. Berg's Bookkeeping and Tax Service in Marysville, That's by right. the way. So let's bring him up to the Angel of the Winds winner's platform. Um, I kind of get a little bit sentimental. This is not my best winner's circle interview, but I'm so happy for Nick. It's all yours. Good job, man. Yeah, the, uh, the interstate battery... Camaro was uh, on rails tonight. It was uh, really easy to drive, uh, really smooth track out there. I'd like to thank all my sponsors, um, Interstate Batteries, All Battery Sales and Service, Rick Chevron, Rick's Tire and Service, uh, Bullseye Auto Glass, and Let's Sack Cancer for Kids. It's a great organization. Get behind it. Thanks. All right, thank you very much. Your winner tonight, Mark Hubbard. I'm gonna be level with you guys. We who do what? Greg and I do we're not supposed to be favorites but this kid young man stud I've known since he was this high and to see him do what he pulled off out there I'm gonna shut up and let him talk how about it for Nick Beecher oh. <laughs> thank you um Wow, what a drive. Uh, starting 11th, I did not think a podium was at all possible today. Um, I was not excited to race in the rain today, that's for <laughs> sure. Uh, but you know what? Uh, good things happen, so uh, we made it up here. I used up Dave Lund a little bit on the back stretch there. Sorry, Dave. But hey, you know what it was for. So, uh, no, good race. I got to thank uh, Obert Filters. We got to thank Beecher Motorsports, JVR, uh, JRC. Um, my crew, Aiden, my dad, my mom, everybody, thank you. Thank you, Nick Beecher, second place tonight. Oh yeah, what, who's your spotter? I got the wonderful Kimmy Dietz. Good job, Kimmy, you did really well. There you are, sir, you've got a trophy there with your name on it, you can get that in a second, but uh, man, what a show, you, it was worth waiting for. Yeah, the rain is terrible, Mark had a really good car. Uh, I don't know, he felt the need to smash me on the restart. I don't know what that's about, but I'm getting tired of it. It's two weeks in a row now. I'm really happy for Nick Beecher. This is his first podium. Great job, man. Very nice. Third place tonight, Dave Lund in the number 28. Man, that was fun. I, I, I know I just totally lost it with Nick, and I'm so glad that I had the mask on because I was just grinning ear to ear, and I was so happy for him. And that, that was a, probably the best, funnest race of the year, I thought. You know, the whole night, I'm very, very impressed. When you look at the quality of the racing with the amount of rain, and you have to remember that a lot of these people haven't raced in the rain maybe for a year or longer. Yeah. So it, it is an art, and it, and it does take a different driving style than you do. And I, I was so impressed with all of the classes tonight and the job they did. But, man, as I said, this street stock class, before the year's over, we're going to see some dynamite I racing. I agree. It's going to be a lot of fun. So that's going to be uh, our show tonight as we get ready to wind this thing down. Congratulations to everybody who who made it through, and, and especially to uh, our EMTs, the Cascade Push Trucks, what, you know, they have to kind of work in this stuff. And I want to thank Dick's Towing for being out here. We couldn't do it without any of those, our EMTs, track cleanup equipment. I don't think we put any oil dry down all night long, and that's always, <laughs> that's a successful night. And then everybody uh, behind the scenes here on our Home Track Heroes show and also um, that run high road promotions. So well done by all of y'all. Uh, we'll, we're going to take a couple weeks off. Uh, but to continue to support what we do here. We'll see you next time on Home Track Heroes. Thanks for watching Evergreen Speedway's Home Track Heroes on CW11. 
Join us next week for more great racing from Evergreen Speedway.